Hello! Summer's in full swing and strawberries are my all-time favourite fruit to eat this time of year and strawberries and cream are obviously a classic combo. But I'm going to show you how to cupcakeify them with my strawberries and cream cupcakes. Let's go! So the basis for this recipe is a classic vanilla sponge using all the usual suspects. We've got flour, butter, eggs, sugar, milk and bicarbonate of soda. But obviously we need strawberries in there. And I have made some of this delicious strawberry goo. You can use jam if you haven't got time to make this, but it's really, really easy and really fun to make. To make the strawberry goo, you just need 400 grams of strawberries with the tops cut off. And they need to be pulverised in a food processor until they're completely liquidised. After about 30 seconds, you should have a smooth strawberry puree. Put this through a sieve into a medium-sized saucepan, scraping it through with a spoon just to get rid of any seeds and pulp. Add two tablespoons of sugar and give it a really good stir. Put it onto a medium heat and bring it to the boil, and once it's boiling, then turn the heat right down and simmer it for 20 to 30 minutes until it's a really nice, thick consistency. So first things first, I've got 125 grams of self-raising flour in my bowl, to which I'm going to add 125 grams of caster sugar and 125 grams of unsalted butter, which is soft. And a quarter of a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. And then two large free range eggs. And I'm just gonna beat that together for about 30 seconds on a medium speed. And it's all come together now, so I have one and a half tablespoons of whole milk to which I've added about a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and that's going in as well. And then turn that up to a medium speed, and I'm just going to beat that for about a minute. Alright, that's looking pretty good, so now it's time to get the strawberries in there. Now I'm not going to mix them in completely, I'm going to ripple them through the sponge. That way it won't change the consistency of my batter and I'll get loads of lovely jammy pockets throughout my sponge. So I'm just going to grab a couple of tablespoons at a time and just blob it in. And this is enough batter for 12 cupcakes, so I have a standard 12 whole cupcake tin lined with paper cases. And I'm going to scoop out the batter with my spoons, but just grabbing a little bit of that goo along the way. And now I'm just going to bake these at 170 degrees C for 20 to 22 minutes. While my cake's cooling down, I'm going to get on with making the icing. And I'm going to make a plain buttercream. And instead of using milk, which is what I would normally use to loosen it, I'm going to use double cream. But to start with, I have 100 grams of unsalted butter, which is soft. And that just needs to be beaten on a high speed for about five minutes. My butter's gone really, really pale, so now it's time to add the icing sugar, and I have 225 grams here. I'm going to add this in two stages, beating really, really well between each one. And now it's time to add the cream, so I'm going to start by putting two tablespoons of double cream in, and I'll add another tablespoon if it needs it. I'm going to beat that up just for about a minute or two, just to make it really, really nice and fluffy. Okay, my icing's looking really, really delicious, but I think there's still room for some more strawberry action, so I'm going to ripple my icing. So before I put it in my piping bag, in a similar way to how I did the sponge, I'm going to just put a couple of tablespoons of my strawberry goo into my icing and then scoop it into my piping bag. And now my piping bag's full, it's time to decorate these cupcakes. And I'm going to finish mine off with a little strawberry on top of each one. And that is how you bring two of my favourite summery things together in a new and exciting way. So give it a go and let me know how you get on in the comments box below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, if you like this video, then you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link. And if you do nothing else this week while you're waiting for my next recipe, then you better bake this cupcake.